But I have a bait that literally catches fish all year round. There you go. Do you want pictures of any of these? No? Yeah, it's a big one. Ooh, that's not good. That rod's broke. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Bee Fishing. Today, I'm out on the river. Like, I'm actually fishing the river for the first time this year. I haven't done it in a while. Hopefully, we're gonna do a little bit of frog fishing. We're gonna do a little bit of worm fishing. You know, typical river stuff. But I have a bait that literally catches fish all year round. If you use it, you can catch them in the cold, in the heat, doesn't matter, pre-spawn, post-spawn, it's gonna catch them. You just gotta figure out where they are when you're using it. We've got, we got a little guest on, we got Ryan. If you like, if you like the merchandise, he's the guy who helped me design it. Like I came up with the logo and he looked at it and went, mm, it could be better. And he did some edits to it, got the logo looking right. He's helped me design the shirts that uh, you guys like buying. That's where I get all my, my merchandise made from, is from Ryan. So he just got into fishing, like a lot of y'all during the quarantine, getting back into the swing of things. He's bought a kayak and he's like, hey, I need some pointers. So I was like, well, let's get in the boat, let's go. Let's hit the river. He's been fishing the river a lot. Let's show you some little, little, some little things that I picked up on of when you see this, throw this. When you see that, throw this. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be trying to get Ryan on some fish. Hopefully we're gonna get on some fish. If we catch any of decent size, and I'm saying a pound and a half or more, we're gonna take them back to the pond. So that's the plan today. Uh, you guys hang tight. Let's, let's get right into it, let's go. Yep. Some sort of jig and some sort of worm. I think that would be be key. Out on the river, I'm always carrying a frog, even in the winter time, because you can sit there, if you just pop it across, I mean, you ain't gotta go fast or slow. There's a fish that just went right there, just because I saw the lily pads move. Um, then maybe on the edge of this grass, because I haven't really seen too much action in the grass which may end up being a worm deal, um, which is what I'm gonna switch to real quick. Uh, yeah, I would go with those three. I mean, cause in a kayak, you can't really take, you know, nine rods. Right. A uh, worm. Uh, Again, I'd prefer if if it were me, I'd grab anything that's got blue in it. Um, that red bug though is red bug's a really good color. Red bug's probably my favorite color worm because I can fish it anywhere, any color water. Rig it. So it's just going to be a they call it a Texas rig. What you'll do is you'll take the. the so I got, I got the weight on. Yep. You'll and that's fine. Yeah, that's I mean that's a Texas rig right there. So. You're gonna go through the nose of it about a quarter of an inch and then come out the belly. Then you're gonna run that nose all the way up to the end of the hook. All the way up to the line? Yep. And then you're gonna measure it out. Yeah, flip it over. So flip it over where the belly will be into the, yep. Measure it out and then you're gonna poke through it. Yep, there's two ways to do it. You can either bury the hook in the, in the, in the worm like that or if you're not fishing in like, I, I pull it out and I will skin hook it. So it's called, you sort of skin hook it. So it makes it. It's up there, yeah. out and then down. Yeah, that's, there's the, again, there's two ways to do it. The way you've did it the first time is actually burying the hook. So if you're doing that, that would be where you're pitching. Okay. You're pitching into all this grass because it's harder for that hook to poke through. However, if you're gonna be fishing the edge of grass or just in the open area, yeah. do that because it takes almost nothing when you set the hook for that to pop out of the, out of the worm. fish. A little worm. A little worm fish. He's too small to keep. I did get one. He was right on the edge of the grass chasing fish. There's a little bitty bass, a little bitty guy. Got him on the old red bug worm. Later. That's a pretty nice one. 
He can go back to the pond. He's probably a pound and a half. So there you go. There's another one on the worm. It looks like it's going to be a worm day for sure. Another pond fish. Got another one. About a pound and a half. It's like they're cookie cutter size. They're all cookie cutters. That's a good one. Don't come off. You're a bigger one. That's gonna be the bigger one of the day. That one's like one and a quarter, one and three quarters. It's a bigger one so far. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna put them in the boat though. We're gonna get them in the boat, boys. I just gotta get Ryan to get some in the boat. All right, one or two more, and I'm gonna consider the day a success. And then this is just icing on the cake. But I think we figured out what they're doing for sure. Took me longer than I wanted to, but we figured out what they're doing. God knows we got plenty of grass line. Oh, jeez. I, I thought I had a stick. It was doing absolutely nothing. Well, you got look. That's that's a slide upgrade. There you go. Do you want pictures of any of these? No, just okay. Yeah, we're doing all right. And it's just, I mean, it's just 10 15. We really have not been out here too terribly long. You on there, buddy? Yep, you are. Little guy. I still may take you to the pond. You're bigger than what we got in there. All right, a little, probably a pounder. He'll go to the pond. He'll grow. That's the main reason I really wanted to take the boat today was for the pond. We were in kayaks, I'd have to leave them. Pretty good one right there. Barely got him in the lip. Barely. All right. I think we've rounded out a bag now. He's a nice little size. You'll go good in the pond for sure. Hit it on the way up. Look at the other one following him. You see that? I was reeling it in. I was done. I'd got stuck on a branch. Now you are going to get to stay here. I don't know that I want you. Maybe I do. You're pretty. You're pretty thick. You know what? I'm going to keep you anyway. Because you know why not? Woo, so how about that folks? We're done for the day. And yep, got some fish. I think I've got six in there. A couple of them are just a little over a pound. I got one that's close to two pounds. Maybe too close to two pounds. I don't know. We got some fish though. That's the important thing. Um, we got Ryan on two fish, which was awesome. So he, he was able to get on a couple. Uh, I think he learned a little bit about what he needs to be doing. But other than that, yeah, let's get to the pond. Let's get to the pond and drop these fish in. And we'll wrap this video up. How about that? All right, folks, so I'm at the pond. As you can see down there, we've, we're back at the pond. Hopefully these fish are still looking good. We can get them out. And uh, yeah, these fish still look good. They're still looking good. So I'm gonna pop y'all onto my chesty. We're gonna get the fish in the pond and then we'll wrap this video up. So let me get y'all on my chest. We got them turned up. I wonder if I can fit the net in here. I don't know that I can fit the net in. Maybe. That's pretty effective. How many do I got? I got three. Three of the six. Five. There we go. All right. Six fish. And away we go. Oh yeah, that's a tagged bass right there. 
That's a big bass right there. They're just all hanging out over here. All right. There's one. Mega, mega bluegill. Hey, buddy. There he goes. Hopefully y'all can see him right there. There's that boy. All right. Six new decent sized fish. They're swimming. You can't really see them because y'all don't have polarized glasses on, but I can. They're just hanging out. I mean, these bluegill are on bed is what it is. They're, I don't know if y'all can see the beds. Beds. Y'all see them bluegill beds? Look at that. Doing a really good job of making the beds. They're everywhere. All right. We got to go because I don't know if y'all knew this or not. Maybe I've got a video of it or a little bit of video of it or not. But when I was putting all my rods in the rod locker when me and Ryan were at the, the river, I smashed one of my loose rods. These older boats. I think that's good. So the newer boats. Ooh, that's not good. That rod's broke. And it is now at a 90 degree angle. About two thirds the way up the rod. So I have ordered during all this quarantine, we got a sport and goods store here in town that uh, is taking phone orders. So I called them. They told me, yeah, we got the exact rod you just broke. We've actually got some better quality rods that are a newer design that just came in. And they're the same price. And I said, well, dadgummit, let's buy those. We're good to go. It's two o'clock and that sport and goods store closes at four. So ought to have plenty of time. So that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a pretty fun day. We got like several good fish in the boat. And when I say good, I'm gonna talk about like a five pounder. I'm talking about I'm talking about good for me. You know what I mean? Like I like going and just catching fish. I like going and having fun. I'm not a tournament guy. Y'all know that. I'm here to teach you when you get on the water how to catch more fish, period. Yes, the big ones will be mixed in with those, but I'm not after just big fish. I want all fish. Any and all comers. I just want to have a good day. And I know that's what a lot of you guys do as well. That's why the channel keeps growing. But at the same time, not growing fast enough. So what I need you to do, if you're brand new, hit the red subscribe button. Turn it gray for me. Hit that like button. Hit the ding dong notification next to the subscribe button. So you can be notified anytime I drop a new video. We do a lot of giveaway videos. As you can see, we're putting more fish into the pond. Go and get this pond right. This is the year to get the pond where we got some bigs in it. Me and Chris are about to work hard bringing in some big fish. And we're going to work really, really hard about getting out of all the small fish that are in here. So it's only biggins. We only want two plus pound fish in the pond. Um, so we can come out here and shoot more videos for you guys. As always, though, leave a comment below on uh, what you thought. My favorite worm of all time is what I caught those on. Red bug, you tell, zoom worm. That worm right there has caught me more fish, hands down, than any other worm ever. Like, that, something about red bug, it just... They, they get it. Not red bug shad, red bug. Anyway, guys, I'm out of here. We will catch you on the next one. Later. Later.